Here I am, standing in Rocky Point Recreation Pier. It was completed on December 3rd, 1988 and officially opened on June 30th, 1989. We are now, starting at this point, going to take the Shoreline Trail. Join me, won't ya? Who knows what we'll see, who knows what we're going to get up to. This is Pier Point Park. Right here, walking. Burrard Inlet to my left, and the tide is out. I could have probably walked down that way and gone along. Probably should have. <laughs> Some starfish ornamentals on the wall down there. I hope you're all having a good day. It's kind of gray and overcast here, as you can see. All these park benches are in memory of different people from the area. be honest, I'm not sure how long my power on the phone will last. It could cut out on me. Local residents, Pacific Harbor Seals. We could possibly see Harbor Seals. Pacific Harbor Seals are familiar sight swimming and basking in Port Moody Inlet. These mammals live partly on the land and partly in the water. Their sleek bodies, specialized flippers, and insulating layer of blubber allow them to travel and forage in the sea with ease and grace. However, the seals require access to land to give birth Nurse their young and rest. Tidal Park. This maritime conservation park is dedicated by the City of Port Moody and the Vancouver Port Authority for the protection of significant ecological habitat and enjoyment of the inlet scenic features. Tidal Park will be preserved as a key enhancement to Port Moody's extensive shoreline park system. Dedicated on the 23rd of October, year 2002. Now we carry on on the shoreline trail. This pier park has a lot of playing fields, places you can eat, places you can rent boats and kayaks from to go out into the inlet. I'm going to go silent for a little bit, let you guys just enjoy the nature as I absorb it as I'm walking the shoreline trail in Port Moody. Purple Martin, the beautiful colored Purple Martin is the largest member of the swallow family on this continent. Every year it makes a long migration from South Africa to its breeding grounds in North America. Once established a site, Purple Martins return annually to the same nest as a monogamous pair. A little bit of flooding there, so I will walk around it. It's a fire pit here, it's not used anymore. Uh, entertain outdoor entertainment stage here in Pier Park. There is a public pool up there as well. Like I said, on my left, this is actually part of the Great Trail, the Trans Canada Trail, and that is Burrard. That is the inlet there, Moody Inlet. Kids play in area there, playground. In the park. Kind of cool how that climbing on structure over there kind of looks like a pirate ship. Oh, I wish I could climb that tree. It is cold today. It's hard to believe that it's actually April 4th. Because, well, it's just that darn cold. See what I mean about that playing place, playing climb on play center up there, looking like a pirate ship. 
that's kind of cool all made out of wood this climbing equipment well a little bit of metal there for the slides and plastic as well but mostly made out of wood palm trees there growing kind of a strange sight I have no idea what the temperature is but I tell you it is cold out and you're all thinking Chris if it's that cold why aren't you inside somewhere warm well guess what folks seeing that crow there warms my heart that's right I'm out in nature just to absorb it to enjoy it breathe it in Danger, stay off the mud flats. They could give way at any time. Swampland there. A couple of little blue heron, metal blue herons in there, signifying that this is a blue heron reserve. Now, I'm not sure actually how far I'll get on the trail before my phone does go snip and quit playing, but you know. I'm going to walk as far as I can before that happens. Then let over there. This is one thing that Port Moody is really good for even on their main roads they have directional signs to tell you actually how to get places up in there up there is the dog run off leash area and here we go welcome to the shoreline pork forest this section of trans Trail is dedicated to David Driscoll honored with Freedom City May 29th 1999 experience sights and sounds of a coastal rainforest as you step onto the shoreline trail. Go to your left and fill your eyes, ears, and nose with the sensations of the forest. As this area was logged in the late 1800s, it has no old growth trees. However, some special features of an old growth forest are beginning to emerge. A severe windstorm in 1933 blew down several mature trees. This put downed logs on the forest floor, lower and created a sunny air openings in the canopy. Shoreline Pork Forest welcomes you. So, let's get walking. Here we've got an ecological restoration in progress here. Replanting of these old berry plants. Stream flowing into the inlet here. Shoreline Park. Bikes go that way. Us walkers are supposed to go to the left. And people walking their bikes. Be bare aware. If, you, if I suddenly vanish. And that. Well. Don't be worried. No bears eating me. I'm alive till I'm 106. Maybe, well, maybe I'll eat my arm. No I don't think I'll see any black bears. Yep. But you never know. Oh, smell that nature. Look at this little interesting thing here. That tree grew over to the side, wrapping its way around these branches and over and twisting. Pretty nifty. Now, that's for the bike riders to go that way. Us walkers, we walk down the trail. Through the true forest. Isn't it all so gorgeous, everyone? Just uh, uh, such nature smells. That's all I can smell. This is one beautiful park. You know how it goes. We're walking along the shoreline trail in Port Moody, British Columbia, just taking in nature. 
This trail was totally built by volunteers. But since it was originally built, the city of Port Moody has stepped up to the plate and maintains it. With the help of a volunteer organization as well, it is one of their key areas of their parks. The union here in Port Moody actually works with volunteer organizations to keep the parks looking good. The red busted nuttash spends most of its time hurrying headfirst down tree trunks, searching for insects and seeds. One of the many birds that could be seen in this park along the shoreline trail. Of course, because of the weather, it's, it's April. Not too many birds and wildlife are out in a boat. Also, the fact that it feels like it's December doesn't help either. But, oh, such fresh air. Now I'll just shush up and let you enjoy the nature for a little while. Remember, these park, these benches are all in memory of somebody. See the inlet through the trees as we're walking the shoreline trail. How about this? The black cap, the black cap chickadee is most easily identified by its chickadee dee dee call. The black cap also sings a plaint plaintive, high pitched Phoebe song that is especially loud during spring courtship. Two birds may even whistle a duet, the second bird answering the first in a lower tone. Getting educated while I'm walking nature. Oh, just taking it all in. On the Shoreline Trail in Port Moody. Is your dog okay? Hey, pup. I'm good. <laughs> Another creek flowing down into the inlet where you can see the tide is out. Wooden deck over it. Well, I can't carry on that way. The trail's closed, so I got a detour up to the road. Well, not the road, but to the bike path. I guess it kind of washed away with all the raining and the flooding. So look both ways. Make sure nobody's coming on their bikes. Don't want to get run down. And now we'll go dip back down onto the actual trail. Now that we've bypassed the detour. And I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to get to the end of the trail before my phone... Such will be life, I suppose. Yeah, you can see where... Yes, you can see where they've been trimming and making things better in there on the trail. The bank kind of washed away. Now we're back on the... Actual main seashore trail or shoreline trail, I should say, in Port Moody. Just taking it all, everything nature has to give to me. Learning about the birds and, and other things that can be seen in this area. Western hemlock often grows among Douglas fir, western red cedar, and Sitka spruce. Its characteristic nodding top bends away from prevailing winds. Western Hemlock reaches its maximum height, 60 meters in cool, moist climates where the rich, the soil is deep and rich in humus. Its soft, fragrant, graceful foliage darkly shades the forest floor.
Beautiful view of the inlet. Just so everybody is aware, I've had a fantastic day today. Yeah, it's overcast, it's been raining, it's kind of cold, but I'll show you. <laughs> I got my smile on, and it ain't going nowhere. As we walk the Shoreline Trail in Port Moody. Coastal Giants, first peoples of coastal British Columbia are referred to this giant as the Tree of Life. The Western Red Cedar provided the material used for their homes, utensils, weapons, and even clothing. It also played a central role in their totem culture, supplying the poles that were an identical feature of every village. No one also has the Canoe Cedar. This massive tree was carved to form dugouts capable of carrying up to 40 people on open ocean voyages. This is one, I'm now one kilometer into the shoreline trail. And I can't remember actually how long the trail is. I did, did see a marker and I read it in the book. I think it's 3.2. And I'm not positive, to be honest with you, that the phone will last to the end of the shoreline trail hike here in Port Moody. But wow, it has been beautiful, this trail. Just giving me so much nature. Educating me too with the plaques that are along it. You can see the inlet out there with the tide out. I hope whatever you guys got up to today or are doing, it's something fun and enjoyable. Somebody said I was missing. Well, no, I'm back. I just haven't been being exploring too much, maybe. No, that's not the truth either. Truth is, I was down, a little depressed, but I'm bouncing back full force. Going to be better than I ever was before. Sadly, the, here, there were some other plaques telling you about what you were looking at across the way. There's a trail that goes around the other side of this here inlet. Somebody stole the plaques, sad to say. Now, am I going to walk the other side? Not today. Educational hiking. <laughs> another one missing and I'm thinking nobody actually stole the signs I'm thinking maybe there was some misinformation on them so they were taken down to be repaired There's a couple of ducks down there on that rock. A couple of birds, I'm not sure what kind. Can't get quite close enough. Look at this stump right here. Doesn't that kind of look like a bird?
Now this trail is not. If you're up on the bike path, the bike path, yes, it is everybody abled. The one for people who are walking is not. As you can see, there are stairs. But there's a parallel trail that is 100% everybody accessible. I like how they built a second path that totally paved for those in wheelchairs, walkers, and for bike riders. And at the same time left this trail for the people who are able to walk without any difficulties. Right on the inlet. Shoreline Trail in Port Moody. Now there's no sign here at this fork. I'll wiggle my nose and wink and wink and the highway's up that way so I'll go to the left. Carry on along the shoreline trail. Told that that's actually a beaver dam thing there but it looks marshy to me. Maybe there is beavers hiding in there. Be kind of cool to see one. I got a feeling I probably should have gone up there because, uh, but we're gonna go through the marshland a little just to see what's here. And yeah, I was supposed to deke back there, but <laughs> this boardwalk over these marshlands and the inlet, well, it's worth taking a little bit extra walk. Ah, fresh air. It's amazing that it's so close to the highway and yet, I can barely hear the vehicles. This is the Shoreline Trail in Port Moody. What an amazing board.